I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad T470. This one is an uh, Intel version which is an iCore 5 V Pro processor and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM on these models. They are really easy to open up and really easy to upgrade with no issue. And the tools that you're going to be needing, it's a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit tool set. These are one of the best screwdriver set that is out there. They have one of the great, it's, I believe it's an S2 steel that they have. So the bits will last you a very long time. So they don't go bad. And they have all the bits you need for any type of the electronics. From this set, we're going to be using Philips number zero. Also, you need an opening tool. This set, they provide you a pro version, which they give you an opening tool. But if you don't want to get the pro version, you can just grab any opening tool. I use my preference. I prefer this guitar pick. The metallic ones, they have a really soft edges and they're really tough to bend. With these two, and also you need the RAM. The RAM can be any DDR3 SD RAM. Okay. First thing first, you want to flip over the laptop, make sure the power is completely off. And you want to unlock this side and pull it out a little bit. And unlock this other one clip and pull it backward and slide it back the battery. So this is the external battery. There's two batteries in here, external one and there's an internal one. All right, now we're going to start unscrewing every screw that we see on the bottom cover. Okay, uh, just remember that the screws won't come out. They have a C-lock on them. So we just have to loose them up. Just do a few twists. And then you hit a click. And then just let go. Also, I really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to my channel. And click that thumbs up button if you find my videos helpful. I really appreciate it because I only find that only 1% of my viewers subscribe. It's really a big motivation to see people subscribing because I try to answer and take requests all the time. So you know, something nice in return. Alright, once you removed all the screws at the bottom cover, now you want to open up the laptop a little bit. And you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover. Just somehow manage it right there, about 2 millimeters, and then you just want to wiggle it around little bit go in front just you want to remove those clips go to the sides go all the way to the back corner just like that and do the left side now this one is not necessary once you got most of them out just close down put it back down and just wiggle it around and lift it up and move it around while you're lifting up and it will come out eventually and these are the C locks on the screws that they will prevent the screws fa from falling down. All right, down here you can see the extra battery is right here. If you want to unhook the battery, just by pull this jack backward, but it's not necessary to remove the battery if you want to upgrade the RAM. The RAMs are under this cover right here. So you can just pull it back or you can just rip it apart for a second. Put it to one side. There's a two RAM DIMM available in, on these models. They're one beside each other. All right. To remove the RAM, first you don't need to remove the battery. So if you want, go ahead and remove it. To remove the RAM, you want to pull these two triggers apart. So by pulling these two triggers apart, the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. It will just pop out in 45 degree angle. Now you want to grab it in the same 45 degree angle and you want to pull it out in the same direction. Do not yank it upward towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to break the jack or break the RAM. Alright, and these are the 8 gig and DDR3 RAM. So I'll leave the link in the description for bigger version. You can put a 16 and 16 gig, 232 gigs. To put the new RAM in, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM. And then bring it in 45 degree, stick it all the way towards the DIMM and then push it towards the motherboard and you should hear these two triggers doing click just like that okay now you got both of them 
If in case, let's say you change the RAM, you put it in, you turn it on, it might take up to 5 to 10 seconds for it to boot or detect, or maybe you have to switch around the RAMs. Not always the first boot is going to detect. Sometimes you need to flip and switch the RAMs, the places. So that's a really common issue. All right, once you have the RAM in there, now the next thing would be to grab the this cover sheet, bring it over and just stick it right in there. Plug in the battery if you have unplugged it. Grab the bottom cover, bring it over, and then just push it down. Make sure you hit those clicks at the back here. And then push the sides. And the last thing would be to just screw down the screws and put the, uh, slide down the external battery. Okay, make sure you put the cover in before you power on because there's a sensor that would trigger that the cover is down, is open, so it will not boot. So make sure we close down the cover before you power it on. All right, then do one last push down, make sure those clips, clips go in, grab the battery, and then just slide it in place. And if you see any gap opening, just pinch it. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.